Within the sacred texts of the Bible, there lies a tapestry of hidden wisdom, encoded and locked away, accessible only to those who possess the keys of true knowledge. The mystical numerology of the scriptures, when interpreted with purposeful intent, unveils insights of profound depth, illuminating the cosmos-aligned mystery at the core of existence. This ancient and guarded revelation which has whispered through the ages to only a select enlightened few, unveils the synchronicity between the 13 astrological signs and the 13 tribes of Israel, and the celestial orchestration of the Ten Commandments alongside the Ten Plagues, heralding a grand cosmic schema. This mystical codex, as explored in the Unified Theory of You, casts light upon the secrets woven intricately within the biblical narratives, urging humanity towards a transcendent state of consciousness that redefines the essence of our collective destiny. Central to these divine disclosures is the tale of Jacob's youngest son, renamed Israel after his celestial encounter, marked forever by a divine imprint upon his hip. His progeny, Benjamin, manifested physically this cosmic seal, a root at his hip, signaling a transformative genetic lineage that consecrated his descendants as both the foundation and the divine root of Israel. This sacred secret shrouded within the scripture preserved through ages could only be unlocked by the wisdom of Solomon, offering a leap into the profound depths of this biblical epic. The tribe of Benjamin often misunderstood in scriptural recountings was marked by a divine mandate, a tribe of formidable appearance and warrior prowess, known for their strategic left-handed combat establishing them as a fearsome force within the Israelite community. Moses and Aaron more than mere leaders were the personified legacy of Benjamin, guardians of an esoteric lineage that was woven into the very fabric of Israel holding their staffs not just as symbols of authority but as emblems of deep ancestral connections they stood sentinel over a sacred heritage these staffs far from mere tools of leadership served as beacons of the true spirit of israel emanating from the tribal root of benjamin guiding their people through the wilderness towards the promised land each staff in their grip was a constant emblem of their divine purpose deeply intertwined with the ancestral narratives of israel their every decree and miraculous act transcended mere leadership, they were the steadfast protectors of the Benjamin mystery, the custodians of the divine staff embodying the true spiritual lineage of Israel. In this biblical drama, the staff rises beyond a simple shepherd's tool to become a powerful emblem of divine authority and ancestral heritage. As the prophets addressed the people, their words bore the gravitas of divine proclamation with the staff affirming their sacred duty. This staff proclaimed more than a message, it signified the bearer as a root of Israel, a direct channel of God's will, firmly anchored in the legacy of the patriarchs. Each word spoken, each step taken, resonated with the authority of this ancient lineage, bridging heaven and earth, echoing through the ages as a profound testament to the unbroken covenant between the divine and his chosen emissaries. Traditionally, it has been proclaimed that Moses and Aaron hailed from the tribe of Levi, a narrative carefully crafted to shield a deeper, more profound truth. This strategic portrayal was a veil, meticulously placed to protect the divine lineage of Benjamin. The tribe of Benjamin, predominantly composed of men by divine decree, bore the sacred obligation to marry into other tribes, ensuring their numbers remained the fewest. This was not mere happenstance but a deliberate celestial strategy to safeguard the roots of a sacred lineage. This small but fiercely guarded tribe carried within them a divine secret, the true root of Israel, a secret so potent that its revelation could endanger their very existence. It was understood that if this esoteric knowledge were to be uncovered, it might provoke adversaries to attempt to extinguish Benjamin's lineage altogether. Thus, the narrative of the Levitical lineage of Moses and Aaron was not merely a historical account, but a protective cloak woven to preserve the survival of Benjamin's tribe. This act of divine discretion ensured that the sacred lineage, which bore the true spiritual heritage of Israel, remained concealed, surviving through the ages as the silent bearers of an ancient celestial mandate. In the celestial tapestry of Revelation, Jesus himself aligns with an ancient and hallowed emblem. He declares not merely his lineage from the tribe of Judah, but also his profound identity as the root of Israel. This dual proclamation bridges the exalted realms of heavenly authority with the earthly heritage bestowed upon him. It underscores that Jesus, like the prophets who preceded him, wielded a spiritual authority, both ancestral and divinely sanctioned. 
Thus, the staff transcends its mere physical manifestation to become a symbol of the unbroken lineage connecting Israel's chosen leaders to a divine mandate, echoing the eternal covenant forged between God and his people. Each gesture of the prophets, each teaching of Christ is imbued with this deep enduring connection, ensuring that their words resonate through the ages with the authoritative echo of Israel's root. In the sacred narrative of biblical history, the tribe of Benjamin assumes a uniquely pivotal role. Predominantly male by divine design and entrusted with a divine lineage, Benjamin's men were divinely encouraged to integrate through marriage into other tribes. This was no mere social strategy but a profound act of divine preservation and integration, diffusing the genetic and spiritual legacy of Benjamin, marked by the divine touch at the hip, across the twelve tribes, thereby embedding the essence of Benjamin within the broader Israelite identity. This subtle yet profound integration ensured that the root of Benjamin, and thus the root of Israel, permeated not just a single tribe, but was intricately woven throughout the entire people of Israel. The widespread dissemination of Benjamin's lineage meant that key figures from other tribes, including Moses from Levi and Jesus from Judah, were imbued with the hidden root of Benjamin. Both Moses and Jesus, as bearers of the staff, transcended the role of mere leaders to become embodiments of the divine lineage pulsing through Israel's veins. The staff they wielded was more than a mere symbol of earthly authority. It was a declaration of their intrinsic connection to the root of Benjamin, the very essence of Israel. The unfolding narrative is one of profound interconnectedness and divine orchestration. The lineage of Benjamin, though outwardly assimilated, remained the spiritual backbone of Israel a sacred secret preserved through strategic marriages and generations. This divine lineage, carried by Moses and later affirmed by Jesus, presents a celestial blueprint that transcends tribal boundaries ensuring that the spiritual authority and divine mission of Israel endured, deeply rooted in the legacy of Benjamin. Through this lineage, every decree and act by Moses and Jesus was imbued with an authority both heavenly ordained and anchored in the deepest foundations of Israelite history. The allocation of the Holy Land further highlights the tribe's significance, with Benjamin receiving spiritually crucial territories including Bethel, where Jacob wrestled with God, and the site later known as the Temple Mount. This distribution was not arbitrary, but a strategic measure to safeguard the core secret of Israel. Moses and Aaron, though of the tribe of Levi, bore the staff as a symbol of their divine roots in Benjamin, affirming their foundational role in Israel as warriors of the divine mandate. Even today, the descendants of Benjamin bear a unique genetic marker at the base of the hip, a profound and living testament to God's tangible interaction with mankind. This distinctive sign stands as an enduring divine witness, a physical manifestation of celestial intervention affirming the sacred narratives that thread through the annals of biblical history. The New Testament echoes and reinforces this legacy, declaring those who bear the staff as divinely authorized, their authority rooted not merely in tradition, but in the divine will itself. Contrary to widespread belief, the high priesthood of Israel did not spring from the tribe of Levi. Instead, it arose from the lineage of Benjamin, a revelation that reshapes our understanding of the biblical priesthood. The high priests, traditionally viewed as Levitical, were in fact descendants of Aaron, who unbeknownst to many, carried the bloodline of Benjamin. This startling insight aligns with the profound declarations made by Jesus in the book of Revelation, where he asserts his lineage from Judah and identifies himself as the root of Israel, intricately weaving together divine and human histories in a tapestry of celestial significance. Scene script. This revelation adds a layer of profound depth to the biblical narrative, suggesting a hidden, divine strategy that transcends generations and tribes. The role of the high priest, often perceived as merely a religious functionary, is thus cast as a guardian of a deeper mystery, the custodian of a holy lineage that directly connects with the divine. This sacred duty, carried through the ages by the descendants of Benjamin, underscores a strategic divine foresight, ensuring that the spiritual leadership of Israel would always emanate from a source intertwined with God's direct actions and promises. As such, the high priests emerging from this unexpected tribal lineage were more than ritual leaders. They were the bearers of a divine legacy, chosen to stand at the intersection of heaven and earth. Their authority, symbolized by the staff they wielded, was not only a sign of their office, but also a marker of their unique heritage, 
the very essence of Israel itself, rooted in the divine touch and prophetic destiny. This lineage, preserved through divine providence and hidden within the folds of history, served not only to fulfill ancient prophecies, but also to protect the purity of the divine mission entrusted to Israel. It ensured that the spiritual essence of the nation, guided by the high priests, remained forever connected to the foundational events and divine interactions that shaped its destiny. The high priests of Benjamin, therefore, stood as living bridges between God and his people, their very existence a testament to the unbroken covenant that has guided the children of Israel through the ages.